There are times in our lives when we all have to be leaders, when we cannot let either our ancestors or our children down. I think that's what accomplishment is all about, recognizing those moments and living up to them. It's about taking a stand when you have to. Shirley Chisholm took a stand for peace, and she recognized that war was not the answer. As a result, she spoke out against the Vietnam War early and often. In fact, her maiden speech in Congress was on this very subject. For me, one such event came on September 14, 2001, when just three days after the terrible, horrific, heartbreaking shock of 9-11, Congress rushed in anger, anguish, and grief to pass a resolution unleashing unlimited war. I didn't know I would be alone in my vote against that resolution that day, and it didn't really matter. Sometimes you just have to do what you know what is right in your heart, even if you're alone. The principles that guided her were correct then, and they remain true today, as we spend billions of dollars on wars around the world when domestic needs at home are suffering. As you know, Shirley Chisholm loved teaching, loved learning, and loved her students. I know that her advice to you today would remain the advice she gave me many years ago when we met. She told me to be involved in my community and she encouraged me to register to vote. She also told me to study hard and get a good education. She stated many times that her greatest accomplishment while a legislator in Albany was the passage of the SEEK program, which provided financial and counseling assistance to students entering college for the first time. The program was designed to advance the cause of equality in higher education at the City University of New York. I want to encourage all of you to study hard and get a good education. I want to congratulate a number of students tonight who won a prestigious Shirley Chisholm essay contest. Congratulations to you all. The work that Ms. C did helped to bring about a more integrated society that recognizes the value of the contributions and potential contributions of all Americans, regardless of gender or race. I believe that because of the Honorable Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, we are left with a stronger America that is made better through the sum of its parts. It is my hope that tonight will inspire us to work harder for a better America. I hope it will inspire us to remain true to our personal identities and public missions. And I know tonight will help us work harder and organize better and get us even closer to reigniting the American dream for all.